long hair makes you look like a girl as a boy. Well, yeah, your big teeth looks like a rat. Then what do you mean to be surprised? Three days later. Those ears make you look like a big monkey. Well, yeah, you're better. <laughs> One at a time. Should we listen, Caleb? No, they fight all the time. Your breath smells worse than a skunk. Gee, that hurts my feelings a lot. Wow, Kitty looks pretty nice. Several days later. You're such a bad speller! Caleb's a nice guy, we should defend him. Yeah, you have to be... Caleb's a nice guy, you have to be nice too! Did you see that? Did you see that Ezra was being ugly to Caleb and then Caleb responded with being ugly back to Ezra? Did you see how the two brothers responded? They didn't want to be part of it. Because what happens if they step in and then both of them become ugly to the other two brothers? It's not something they want to be part of. Then the second couple of scenarios, um, Ezra was ugly to Caleb, but Caleb responded differently. He responded the first time with uh, that he didn't he didn't appreciate Ezra's words, and then the second time he just cried. The scripture we're talking about today in church is one that talks about being kind to people even when they're not kind to you. In order to be able to do that, you have to be able to control your own actions even when. It might be easier to be ugly to other people. If you're kind to other people, even if they're being ugly to you, other people are going to see that, oh wow, that person is really being the better person. And they will follow in the, that lead. They'll notice that that's a very strong way to go and they'll go with you. And then ultimately it will lead everybody to being maybe a little nicer maybe it'll change the mind of the person who's being ugly and maybe they'll realize they need to be a little nicer too let's say a prayer dear god please help us in every time so that we can be more respectful to our friends and neighbors amen